Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, in this video, I'm gonna tell you how I turned $25 into over $300 selling items that I picked up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, YouTube auctions, different places. Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. amazing right all right let's get started um super cheap i source really cheap and i sell a lot of bread and butter items in my ebay store and it all adds up so to me i think it's important to have bread and butter in your store these are items that i sold for 35 dollars or less on ebay and i also have big money bolo videos also so you can check those out but these are my bread and butter and let's get started so the first item that I sold is this Play Monster Marari Pop Pop Piano. It's a preschool play musical toddler toy. And I put a video down in the description that shows how it works. And actually this sold pretty quickly. I almost didn't list it because it was kind of awkward to ship. And I'm one of those people where I'm like, I really don't want to find a box. I like smalls. But I got this at a thrift store mystery box. It was a toy box. And so I probably had about a buck in it and decided I was going to list it. I sold it for a best offer of $16 plus shipping. The next item is this Plan Toys wooden dollhouse figure. It is a uh, just a little dollhouse figure that I got at the Goodwill bin. So it probably cost me a quarter. I sold this for $8.50 on best offer and the buyer paid shipping. These came from the hashtag Ben's Bingo Challenge. What I did is I came up with a bingo card and I shared it with a bunch of YouTubers and told them to go to the bins and get as many items as they could on that card. If you're interested in participating, this event already took place, but I'm keeping it open to any YouTuber that wants to do it. So what you need to do is go to my community page. You'll probably have to scroll way down and you're going to have to look for the bingo card. Print off that card, go to the Goodwill bins and video yourself finding the items on the card. If you put hashtag bins bingo into the YouTube search bar, it will pull up everybody that participated. So when you make your video, send me a message on um, either Instagram or Facebook with your link, and I will share it in my Facebook group that has almost 80,000 members. Uh, you guys, if you're not in my Facebook group, I have it linked down below. So I want to keep this ongoing. So come play hashtag Ben's Bingo. And you know what? If you already played and you want to play again, I'm sure you'll find different items. So uh, grab that bingo card and I would love to see your video. Uh, so many fun videos came out of that. I can't remember how many people participated, but it was a lot. So definitely check those out. Uh, these are Mickey Mouse earrings. And, you know, one of the things on the bingo card was jewelry. And jewelry is a little bit harder to find um, when you're digging in the bins. So I was happy to find these. I ended up selling these for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. Okay, you guys, this one's like, you're going to be like, are you kidding me? No, I'm not kidding you. I bought this at the Goodwill bin, so it was probably like 10 cents. And I'm like, I know I can sell that. And, you know, I saw one the other day and I didn't buy it. I don't know why I didn't buy it. I should have bought it. I mean, I sold this one for $10. Um, I should have bought it. But it's a vintage twist on standard nipple unit Ross Laboratories. It's a bottle nipple, you guys. 10 bucks plus shipping on that. I do sell weird stuff. Sometimes I just like to see if I can sell it. This also came from the Goodwill bins, so cost of goods was very, very cheap. Uh, vintage 1965 Snoopy Woodstock Children's Baby Spoon by Denara, and it's stainless steel. And I sold this for $9.75 plus shipping, and it sold pretty quickly as well. This is a Disney Funko Mystery Minis. Is it Funko or Funko? I always say it wrong. I'm not sure. Whatever. I think I say Funko, and I think it's Funko. <laughs> Um, if you're new to my channel, I mispronounce everything. Um, if you've been here a while, thanks for continuing to watch. <laughs> I got these at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold them for a best offer of 14. I'm sorry, for a sale price of $14.95 plus shipping. It's Beauty and the Beast. Um, and they're the mini um, figures there. 
not mini figures, but mini, mini uh, figuring. I don't know. You can't call them mini figures. That's a Lego term. Um, I have a whole little blurb in one of my videos that Rachel Strickland did that uh, you cannot use the word mini figures unless it's Lego. This is a, and Rachel Strickland is a YouTube channel. And if you're not subscribed to her, I just was talking to you guys like everybody knows who Rachel Strickland is. Um, if you watch me, I talk about her a lot because she is incredible and her channel is incredible. I will link her down below. Um, it's a reseller channel. Go and sub her up. All right. This is a Linux uh, ornament. It's a snowflake ornament that I got out of a thrift store mystery box. So cost of goods, less than a buck. Sold this for my sale price of $13 plus shipping. These came from an estate sale and it was kind of a throw in. Um, I bought stuff and then they said, we're just going to donate this stuff. Do you want it? So my cost of goods was pretty much nothing for these. This is probably not something I would have bought given like the condition and everything. Some of them had writing and highlighting, but I was like, you know what? I just want to see if I can sell them. So they're vintage cliff notes. They're reading guides or study books. So back when you were in school, if you didn't want to read the book that the teacher assigned you, you would get the cliff notes. <laughs> That's what these are. Uh, I sold these for a best offer of $14 plus shipping and they sold pretty quickly. Here's a little Lego set. These are Lego Duplos, my first supermarket building set. It's incomplete and missing the wheel barrel. And they also bought this one, the Lego Duplo baby in green. You can see she's got a little bit of purple there on her hat. I didn't even catch that when I listed it. Um, but they ended up paying $20.90 for both of these. The Lego set came from a garage sale. I paid three for that. And I got this at the Goodwill Benz. And $20.90, and they were all in for $28.52 with tax and shipping. I don't know if you guys remember the video I did with the windmill, and it had these extra pieces in it. And these sold really quick. The windmill thing has not sold yet. But these are candle holder replacements, and they're not in great condition, and they sold super quick. Um, garage sale, it came with the other set. So I'm going to say my cost of goods was zero because... Basically, they were in with the other item that I'm going to sell as extras. And $10 best offer on these and the buyer paid shipping. I got these spoons also at the hashtag Ben's Bingo. I had to find a kitchen item. And these are like for fruit, you know, to like dig the fruit out. They kind of have like a spiky edge on them. And not something I would normally pick up. But, you know, when you're doing a bingo challenge and there's certain categories that you normally don't source in it kind of forces you to think outside of the box and maybe pick up things that you wouldn't normally pick up and what i learned is silverware sells and this sold quick for 11 dollars, best offer plus shipping this i would not recommend picking these up unless you search them and see if maybe it's a special one the longenberger saint nick the santas these are so long tail. They take forever to sell. I can't even tell you how long I've had this listed. Um, I think I paid a dollar for it and I sold it for $9.74 plus shipping. I don't remember where I got it. Would I buy them again? No, not without looking them up. Would I look it up? Yes, because some of them might be harder to find and might sell for more. Some long and burger items do well. This did not. This is a vintage uh, is it Weissner? Weissner, W-I-E-S-N-E-R, clear rhinestone braided bracelet, missing, missing the safety chain. And it's super cool. It's a vintage item. And that's what it looks like. I got this at a thrift store for $1, took a best offer of $14 plus shipping. And it was missing a rhinestone also. This right here is a Cuddle Barn Cat. And it had big green eyes. So I put that in the title. It's a stuffed animal toy. So the person bought three items from me. They got this cat, this little Barrington collection bear, which came from the free plush that um, I got from a viewer. I don't know if I mentioned that or not yet, but um, in this video, a viewer reached out to me and said on, she's like, I watch your channel. I need this plush gone tomorrow. If you can come get it, you can have it all free. So I was like, okay, I'll figure it out. You know, like I don't need plush, but I love plush. So I will figure it out. 
So I will link her eBay store down in the description of the video. You guys can definitely go and check that out. But this is one of the bears. And then I also got this adorable deer. And this one came from a garage sale for a buck. So the buyer bought all three of these items for $32 plus shipping. The next item are these Sanford permanent markers. I got these at that same estate sale clean out. And um, I did get a lot of crafters items. It says $9.99. That is not what it sold for. Um, I had it up for auction. Somebody sent me an offer of $30 and I went ahead and took that. What I did is I took a piece of paper and I marked so that they could see that all of the items worked. Um, $30 was pretty... Um, pretty much where comps were. So I snagged that up. eBay will not tell you when, when you have um, an auction with best offer, they put the winning bid as what you started the auction at. So looking up solds on eBay is not always super accurate. So sold it for $30 plus shipping. This is an uh, winter's delight. Um, I'm sorry, hold on. Cruel set. I always have to think about how to say that. I always want to say cruel and somebody's like, it's cruel, like you're cruel. And I'm like, okay, so that's how I have to remember it. Uh, this is from 1976. It was opened, but I think it was all there. So I just included that information, not sure if complete. And I took a best offer of $18 plus shipping. If this would have been sealed, of course, I could have gotten more for it and the buyer paid shipping. This candle is a used candle. Used. I got it out of a thrift store mystery box and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to try and sell this. Um, I did a video over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies YouTube channel about vintage candles or discontinued candles that sell for big money. And there was a used candle that sold for over a hundred dollars. Go check out that video. It is incredible. And you definitely should be on the lookout for certain candles. So check out that it's over on my sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel. The link's down below. Some of you may not even know I have that channel. I have not been good about putting content out lately. So I sold this for a best offer of $12 plus shipping. The next item are these Victoria's Secret thigh high stockings. Got these at a thrift store for 25, or I'm sorry, 75 cents. Unfortunately, they put this big old sticker on the front, which, you know, damaged the packaging, but it is what it is. It still sold for $16.25 plus shipping. The item is new with tags. It's in the original packaging. Um, typically when I pick things up at thrift stores, like if it's a plush or something like that and it's new with tags, I won't put new with tags, but this is sealed in the original packaging. So I went ahead and did that with this one. This is Vintage Rush Hour Discovery Toys Traffic Jam Puzzle Game. This came out of a thrift store toy box. And I took a best offer of $10 plus shipping. So it's just a little game. I, I don't know, travel game maybe. It's kind of cute. This is a VTech GoGo Smart Wheels orange race car. But this one does nothing. A lot of them, you push them. They have lights and sound. This one does nothing. It just goes with a play set. Um, I grabbed this at the Goodwill Bins. And I sold this for $9.75 plus shipping. And it sold pretty quick. This is a vintage cross stitch kit by Needles and Hoops, and it's a sampler. Uh, I got this at that estate clean out, and I took a best offer. Nope, I'm sorry. I sold it for my sale price of $16.25 plus shipping. This came from the Goodwill bins. It was in a bucket, and there was a whole bunch of like figures, and they were supposed to all be football, but there was like hockey and baseball and referees or umpires, whatever you want to call them, and then this mat. I ended up parting it out. I've sold both both of the referees. I've sold this and I've sold some of the figures. So definitely a home run parting it out. I sold this for $11.70 plus shipping. This is by Caskey Kids. Never heard of it. But um, there is some resale value there if you guys want to take the time to uh, put the work in. This here is probably something most of you would pass by. It's a Disney Lion Guard King Hyena. And I put... Uh, figure toy cake topper in the title. People look for these to put on like birthday cakes and stuff like that. Got this out of the Goodwill bin. So it probably cost me about 10 cents. I sold this for $7.80 plus shipping. Let me know down in the comments. Would you have picked this up? Would you have walked right past it? Would you have thought that it was a waste of time? Do you still think it's a waste of time? Do you sell bread and butter? Let me know down below. This next item is a vintage, I think it's pronounced Kangle, but I'm probably wrong. It's a beret hat and it's made in England. 
and it's a wool hat. And I actually got a bunch of these from an estate clean out. And I was like, these are not going to sell. And I'll tell you what, I listed this and it sold really quickly. I don't know if I underpriced it or if it was just the right buyer. I have no clue. But I sold this for $18.60 plus shipping. This little Thai Beanie Booze Cookie the Dog plush. Um, I sold this for a best offer of $8 and I picked it up at a garage sale for 50 cents and the buyer paid shipping. I recently did a video on Beanie Booze to be on the lookout for and some of them can go for over $100. After one of my viewers, um, she's also a member of my channel, she watched that video and she went out and wouldn't you know it, she found one of the $100 ones for 50 cents. And she said she only knew about it from my video. So go watch that video because you guys, you're probably walking past some big money beanie boos. I mean, who, know, who knew, right? This was a bread and butter. They're not all big money. The next item is this Roblox Christmas figures, advent calendar replacement, snowman, reindeer, elf, and tree. They are missing parts. I also dug these out of the Goodwill bins, used Google Lens to figure out what they were. And I sold these for $15.50 plus shipping. Um, somebody was reaching out to me and they're like, will you just sell me? I think it was the gingerbread. They're like, um, I have it and I need just the gingerbread replacement. And I'm like, oh man, I don't want to do that because I, if I do that, I'm going to have to retake pictures. I'm going to have to create a new listing. And to me, it's just not worth the time that it's going to take um, to recreate the listing and do all that work for such minimal uh, profits. And I felt bad because I knew that she really wanted it, but I just figured she could buy the lot and then sell the other items or whatever, you know? But I told her no. And um, sometimes you have to do that. On Mercari, I get it all the time. I don't get it so much on eBay. But people on Mercari want me to part out my bundles. And I've done it before. And you know what's happened? They don't come back and they don't buy it. And then I have wasted my time. So um, I don't know. Let me know. What do you guys do? Do you do that for people? Or does it depend on the situation? Um, I feel like it's worth more as a set. But I told her no, and literally within hours, it sold for my full asking sale price of $15.50 plus shipping. And I think I even messaged her, and I'm like, did you buy the item? And she's like, no. And I'm like, oh, that's so weird. Sold within hours of her asking about it. So um, this item here is a Tony's Good Morning Gathering Lady in the Tramp Disney Magic Kingdom pin. I got this at... Um, a garage sale, I think my cost of goods was around 50 cents and I sold this for $13.64 plus shipping. All right, you guys. So that is how I turned $25 into over 300. The exact numbers were $25.75 into $336.83. So to me, totally worth it. I love selling bread and butter. Most of these items are really, really easy to ship. Um, easy to list and easy to find. So thank you for being here. Thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next one.